water flows at a rate of 25 liter per minute through a horizontal 7.0 centimeter diameter pipe under a pressure of 6 pascal at one point calcium deposits reduce the cross-sectional area of the pipe to 30 centimeter what is the pressure at that point so water is following here we have five we have water five this is horizontal because of some reason right here is calcium deposited what happened is the cross-sectional area is reduced right so our goal is to find pressure p2 at that point pressure p1 here is given and this is the little complicated problem we have to use the approach of continuity equation and Bernoulli principle okay so let's begin with the continuity equation so the flow rate of water is given 25 liter per minute let me write down flow rate water flow rate denoted by Q is uh, 25 liter per minute let me convert this one into uh, meter cube per second so that it will be easier to convert that 25 multiplied by this is in a minute so i can write down minute multiplied by 10 to the power negative 3 meter cube divided by uh, it's a liter right so it was liter here let me rewrite it again liter multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube divided by liter little liter will be cancelled multiplied by one minute by 60 second it was minute already here this minute will be cancelled okay so this is 25 divided by 60 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second okay just to keep it as it is now uh, we know the flow rate q is equal to a1 b1 so from here we can calculate b1 b1 is q divided by a1 uh, is equal to q is this much right 25 into 10 to the power negative 3 divided by 60 and a1 is pi r1 square okay so 25 10 to the power negative 3 60 into pi what is r here let's go back to this equation and this is the diameter 7 centimeter okay if 7 centimeter is diameter diameter is equal to 7.0 centimeter r is equal to d by 2 3.5 centimeter is equal to 0 0.035 meter right so i'm putting this one here 0 0.035 cube this is square sorry this is square okay this is square and now if i calculate this p1 this is for p1 then p1 will be equal to after calculation and let me put into calculator 25 into 10 to the power negative 3 divided by pi and 60 and decimals so i'm getting 0 0.108 
so this is meter per second so this is the b1 so why i am calculating b1 is to find the final pressure at this point what i need is i have to use the bernoulli principle to find the pressure right here i already know pressure p1 from the equation look at here pressure is given somewhere here and uh, uh, i know the density of water and if uh, i'm able to find uh, velocities at this point which is p1 and the velocity at this point velocity p2 i can easily calculate p2 okay so let me go ahead now to calculate p2 I can use continuity equation continuity equation according to continuity equation area a1 velocity b1 is equal to area a2 velocity b2 from here b2 is equal to a1 b1 divided by a2 right so going down from here a1 means a pi r1 square uh, b1 divided by pi r2 square okay so putting values here pi means 3.14 multiplied by r1 is we already get 0 0.3 uh, 3 5 right 3 5 square p1 is 0 0.108 whole divided by pi is 3.14 it's better to cancel it okay from here and r square the another radius is given here 30 centimeter okay cross sectional area of the pi is reduced to 30 centimeter so area of the pi is reduced to this much mm. that means i can write down 30 centimeters square Thirty centimeters square into ten to the power negative four meter square by centimeter square. Okay, I can cancel this out, and then if I calculate this number, this will give me zero point three one three eight meter per second so this is the velocity b2 okay now finally let me apply bernoulli principle to find p2 bar now leads principle so according to bernoulli principle pressure p1 plus half rho b1 square plus rho z s1 equal to p2 plus half rho p2 square plus rho d z s2 okay so this is bernoulli principle this means this is pressure so if this is the pi this pressure p1 here kinetic energy here and potential energy here okay pressure p2 kinetic energy and potential energy okay so this is the bernoulli principle and then according to the equation if you go back it says it's a horizontal pi so horizontal horizontal means height is same so s1 is equal to s2 that means we can cancel this one because we can subtract right same quantity on both sides of the equation I remove that one and I need to find this one so I can put p2 is equal to p1 plus half rho 
and the half row here is common then v1 square minus v2 square okay this is cancelled this is okay so now what is p1 let me get it from question p1 is 6 pascal so i can write it down here p2 is equal to 6.0 one half water density is 1000 and then p1 squared how much we get for p1 p1 is here 0 0.108 0 0.108 square minus what is v2 0 0.138 0 0.138 square so this much so if i put into calculator let me calculate this one 6.0 plus one half 1000 0 0.108 squared minus 0 0.138 squared this is giving me 2.3 pascal which is the pressure at the other end where calcium is deposited okay so this is the final answer